Sandy. Hi, Susie from Halifax, oh. Virginia. Hi, Denise, oh. Joanne, Dana. Oh. Here, David, can you me several of these? Susan, yay. Something. And Lynn's I here, one, too. I have $103. Wait, what? <gasps> you those? Jack Nance says, hi, Jack, Jack, my love. Because, because $103. Because I had, because no. I had 80 Three, and, then I, and I found a twenty dollar bill in my. You found a twenty dollar bill in your pants. <laughs> what? what? Oh, that was from me. <gasps> Heidi's on. Heidi. Hello. Heidi's, Heidi in Minnesota. Hi. Minnesota, Heidi. Hello. <laughs> Our best bud, the best hostess ever. Thank you so much. That was that was delicious and amazing. Thank you. <coughs> It's just, it could just be this computer. It is just that computer. Okay. Else so I'm finished making dinner. So we have like 3,000 of these little, oops, oh dear, of these little packets of, of Taco Bell sauce. So I'm throwing together an enchilada casserole with Taco Bell packets. She's just winging it. Here, Jack, come here and cut for me. But today, while everybody gets on, here, start cutting the tops oh, off. Oh, hi, Willow. I didn't, haven't noticed making, you on in a while. We are making, we making Play-Doh. And so my Jonathan here is going to help me. My best eight-year-old ever. What is that cheese stuff? You know, we actually had a bottle of that. <laughs> I know. You, I, I was taking those for my lunches. This is a way to use them all uh, up. I know, well, I know but we have like 300 of them. I don't even have enough room in the pack in the thing for them. I know, but I was just about to start using them. But that's okay, whatever. I'll get you more. Thank you, Denise. My Father's Day was good. What is that? Starting for to... Okay, so now Michael's upset that I'm using all his Taco Bell packets. Mom. <laughs> he was upset. What's that for you? I'm sorry. I'm not upset. I was just trying to I'd organize my refrigerator. I'd rather have enchiladas, not enchilada casserole. Oh, you would? Mom, let's begin. Give me the bottle of, of Taco Bell sauce in there. So Amy, um, Amy was asking what's for dinner. I don't know if she heard it. So. Enchiladas. So I'm you making enchiladas buddy. with Taco Bell sauce here. Mike loves Taco Bell sauce. Wait, do what sauce? The Taco Bell sauce. It's not the actual recipe for the show, yes. no. but it sure smells yep. good, and I'm going to be glad to eat it. So I'm making Play-Doh for the show, but I wanted to get this in first. <laughs> okay. So since Mike doesn't want me to use his little packets there, I saved the rest. Just for you, you poor thing. I'm sorry. Was it mad? No, I can tell. I just wasn't sure where I was going to put the bottle when I go to the library. Just beat me with a wet noodle. Okay, there we go. So I didn't have any enchilada sauce, so I made do with what I had. Willow says you'll have to make a trip back to the bell. <laughs> <laughs> As oh. you can tell, we ate a lot of Taco Bell on our trip. And, yeah. Heidi so that, said love how you're free, using free items. See, we do, oh, we left a piece of cheese out. Oh dear. All right, now I got dinner in. So, would any little boys like to make some Play-Doh? Play-Doh. Play-Doh. Ew. Yay. I don't know if you're making me eat Any one. little boys that I know? Any little boys that I love? Ooh, Allison said I used to make cinnamon Play-Doh and peanut butter Play-Doh. Oh, yum. That... So we're going to make two. We're going to make regular Play-Doh and edible. And both are actually edible. And both are edible. It's just one tastes better mm -hmm. than the other. Oh! And this recipe is in this really great cookbook that I know of. Have you heard of this cookbook, dear? It's the best cookbook ever. I have. It's called Dining on a Dime. I love it so much. I just ordered 2,500 of them two weeks ago. See? It's a great cookbook right here. And what page is it on? 382. 382, if you would like to follow along if you have one. Page 382. All right, so here we go. You ready, Jack? Mm -hmm. Here, I just closed it and I need the recipe. All right, page 382. So if you guys are new to Living on a Dime, we do an hour-long live show three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4.30 Mountain. And we are cooking our... Uh, we cook our food first and then we chat with you guys. So... 
If you're here and you see it's an hour long show to make a 10 minute recipe, don't freak out. Just watch the recipe and then go on with life. <laughs> really, it's not that big of a deal. Ellie, come tell Nan what you're getting ready to go do. Get in contact. Because they're like 40 bucks for 90 days, so not, not too bad. So Her she's going to try them out. I'm kind of terrified. Contacts. You're kind she's of terrified. kind of terrified. You should be. Oh, wait. What if I pay for my own contacts? <laughs> okay, so I have two cups of flour in my pan, and we need how much salt? We need one cup of salt. All right, this recipe is on our website. Mike will put the link there, or it's in the description below. Wait, here's the measure. There's the link. I just shared it on YouTube, and here it is on Facebook. Yay. That is a lot of salt. Yep. Can they see Jack? Yeah, okay. Well, just making sure. And if you give kisses so on the head while they're measuring, it adds more love into the Play-Doh. See, it zaps down your arm. And then it gets okay, into the plate. Is that enough? Nope, that's not one cup. Whoa. Keep going. That's going to be is some high blood nope. pressure uh, <laughs> play doh there. Keep there. Okay, this is Keep this going. is a, a little lot bit of salt. A little bit more. Ellie Nan wants you to show her as soon as you get home. Ooh. Oh, here, you can show her before you come. That is <laughs> so much. Here, come here. Okay, take off your glasses. Stop. That's no, what she'll look like. Wait, watch. Yeah. She has a hard time doing her parkour. Tell me. That's Tell me. You're failing. Doing her parkour and her glasses keep flying off. So I said, well, we'll pay for the first round since that's about how much we pay, about $30 for glasses. So I said, well, that's about what we pay. So I'll pay for the first round. And then they're going to pay for the second from then on. Okay. We'll what about see. me? What if I okay, pour it in. Huh? What if I pay for mine? Will I be able to... Well... I have a ton of money saved up and I love contacts. <laughs> Alright, you ready for the next one, Jack? Tony asked if I eat Play-Doh yep. very often. No, thanks. So please. here's the deal. Everybody freaks out about our Play-Doh, edible Play-Doh recipe. Ooh, you wouldn't want your kids to think it's okay to eat Play-Doh. Here you go. Guys, Play-Doh is non-toxic. Toxic. There's a reason it's non-toxic because it's all it is is food. If the zombie apocalypse happens, and all the store shelves are cleared of food. Head to the Play-Doh aisle and you can survive. You can survive on that and those gummy spider things. Remember we used to make those? Weren't those the best things ever? Which the, thing, the spider gummy, gummy things? thing? The, spi the gummy bugs? Did anybody else make gummy bugs? Am I the only one? They were so delicious. Okay. And then, oil. There really is no such thing as a zombie apocalypse. There's not? No. Are you sure? Yes. I think it happens every night here in our house. No, it doesn't. I think it does. No, it doesn't. I've I see some up. pretty weird things happening in our house. That's us waking up and going to the bathroom or oh. something like that. <laughs> okay, pour that in. All right, very good. Now pour in the water. Can't tell if that's sugar or... Pour in the water. Is that sugar or is that oil? That's oil. Grandad Babe said I remember this. I mean sugar or is that um, salt? This dope from when I was a kid, it's a cuticle killer because of the salt. <laughs> hey, it could be a great exfoliator. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to cook it. And what you do is you put it on here. So let's see. So I hope this isn't too loud. Everybody said it wasn't last time, but. Okay, so stir it up first. Ow. So my kids can like, does that really bother you? Yes, yes. very much so. Wow. Bye. <laughs> okay, well I guess Jack's done. When I'm done cooking, Jack, you can come back. So apparently there's a high-pitched whizzing noise that Mike and I can't hear that all the kids can hear, which this is a little freaky. Like can they see in there, whoever you are back there? Okay. Is the camera looking into the pot? Is the camera looking into the pot? That's what my was asking. Um, okay, so you're going to stir it around. We'll go get some <laughs> earplugs if you want. I don't know where any are, but... Sophie's mom says all of us peppers are now adding Play-Doh to our food pantries. <laughs> See? There you go. 
always be prepping. Oh, and Dwayne says that those were creepy, creepy crawlers. That's what they were. You're right. Creepy crawlers. They were so good. Am I the only one who had those? Did anybody else have those? Well, Dwayne must have because he knew what they were. So, did anybody else have them? Give me a thumbs up if you had them. I want to see. <laughs> Nobody's doing thumbs ups. Well, we're probably slightly delayed. Janine loves your apron, by the way. Oh, Joanne says... Thank you! She remembers the gummy bugs. So, I have my nice Let It Snow mug to get prepared for winter. As it's going to be 90-something degrees here. Yes. Well, I'm not complaining because a lot of people... I think Denise said it's 103 there today and it's going to be 109 later in the week. And that is why I don't live in Texas or Kansas. Okay, so see how it's getting really, really thick? So you just want to keep stirring until it comes to this really, really thick paste. Okay. And then all the water evaporates, well not really evaporates, is absorbed, I should say is a better word. It doesn't evaporate, it's absorbed into the flour and salt. Okay, and oh my, this is getting very stiff. Um, okay, so now I'm turning it off. There, is, is that better? Smoking? I don't know. Why is it still going? You want to unplug it, Dave? That's annoying. Okay, so there, we got that annoying noise stopped. Okay, Jack, got it stopped. Uh, we've had a couple okay. people. There you go. Now let me see if that's how the directions say to do it. <laughs> we, we had a couple of people ask if Canadians can order the book. We're still shipping to Canada, right? Yeah, although some Canadians are having a problem entering in their address. So if you have that problem, just email me and I'll send you a PayPal invoice. So I just pasted the link to order in again. Okay. So here's what it looks like. Ta-da! Ta-ta-ta-ta! That's not Play-Doh. So... Looks like mashed potatoes. It does look like mashed potatoes. So while I am waiting <coughs> for this to cool off, we're going to make the edible Play-Doh. And I'm going to dump this. Well, that's interesting. Michelle said my dog hears it too. Over the, over huh. the stream? Yeah, that, that's my goes up too. Well, well, I didn't know it made a squealing sound. I'm sorry! It does! That's why you never do an induction thing when you have kids. Well, Dave. actually, then you can clear out your house for kids easily, I guess. Karen That's said, I had point. creepy crawlers and incredible edibles. Yes! Creepy crawlers were so yummy. Okay, so I'm flattening this out to let it cool faster. Oh. Susan okay. said I missed it. Salt and what else? Uh, I'm going to share the, link, the recipe yeah. link again. Let me zoom in more. For you, Susan. Uh, okay. There it is right there. Should I zoom in? Okay, Jack! All right. Where did he go? Johnny-san! What? Okay, it's all done. Dude. This looks like we need a new, uh, we just bought that stove burner thing. Is that camera pointing? Yeah, although I got it for free because it was like two weeks late coming and I told them my product never came and it was like two day shipping. And then the day I asked for a refund because I never got it, it showed up in the mail. But then I had no way to contact them. It was an email thing and I had no way to contact them until I'd pay for it. I know. Okay, so here Patricia we go. Patricia said I'm late. What are we making? We are making Play-Doh and edible Play-Doh. So here is the edible Play-Doh. So, third of a cup of margarine. Is this the, how are we gonna color this though? Um, we're letting it cool for, oops, for just a minute. And then we're going to put color on it. Is it hot? Mm, it's warm still. Whoa. Okay, what? Denise said she got called for jury duty to the Supreme Court. Oh man. But her doctor's a narrator and excuse, I guess. I think I'd go to that one. That could be interesting. Um, and then use corn syrup, or I have some agave here. I just want to get rid of it. So I'm using that. Okay. 
All right, and then salt. Can you get my salt shaker behind us and do a little sprinkling? How much salt? Right there. The green one, Jack. Right there. Shannon said, ha ha, my two-year-old daughter will be glad to hear she this can continue small? to eat her Play-Doh. Sprinkle. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. You're done. Okay. And then vanilla. So salt, corn syrup, margarine butter. I'm using agave. You could use honey if you want. I just happened to have it on hand and couldn't find the corn syrup, so that's what we're using. And powdered sugar. So my powdered sugar kind of has an issue here. I don't know how it got so bad, but <coughs> I see you no, made it so no. bad. Me and Dave and Nan were making French toast, and yeah. I see it. It that, made a big mess. That is a lot of that is a lot of sugar. Okay, that, so that's a lot of sugar. Now this recipe in Dining on a Dime Cookbook, page 382 in our kids section, is also there. Mike's putting the link. All right, go for it. Do what? Start <laughs> mushing it together. Do what? We're supposed oh. to mush it. We're supposed to mush. Get your hands dirty. Mush Yo, away. Here. Feels Mush really away. weird. Oh. So do we have any questions about this while we're mushing? Well, there were some others. Keep mushing well, logs. Tony said, hey, Jack, you little cutie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, about this, Sharon says, I'm a teacher, and I put pumpkin pie spice in it in the fall. Oh, that's a good idea. And Allison said, I taught elementary. The reason we made edible Play-Doh is because it was non-toxic. We overly salted so the children don't actually eat it. Well, the thing is, is regular Play-Doh isn't toxic either. Um, it's just flour and water. I mean, it's just this recipe. But um, this way, the kids can have a little treat while they're playing with their Play-Doh. Why not? And James said, paste in Play-Doh. That's how we used to snack in elementary See, school. See, there you go. <laughs> how many kids grew um, up on paste so and Play-Doh? So Play-Doh is falling out. Yep, so just wipe it off. So this one you just keep kneading. Oh, and Donna says certain pans will make that noise. Oh, well maybe it's my pan. I have no idea. I've never used this oh, kind of um, top before. So hard. Okay, get so off. a little bit more. Why are you adding more sugar? So it won't be so sticky. You can see oh, Jack really likes playing with Play-Doh. Oh, sticky. Kirsten said, could Jack be any cuter? Jack <laughs> leans more towards the OCD side. What? What are you talking about? Then the kids getting into mud side. <laughs> yeah. Here, have a lick. Mmm, yeah. it's delish. Okay. How am I going to get this off? I scrape it. I can't. There you go. Can you... Don't say I can't. Just keep going and do more. All right. Now, we're getting closer to where... Oh, what colors do you want? I've got blue, yellow, and green is all the colors I've got. Um, what colors blue, do you yellow, want? green. Blue, yellow, and green. This is Why so don't we do mushy. one of each? We'll make this one yellow and those two blue and green, okay? It's just so sticky. Okay, so then you put in your food coloring and I just use the Mom, regular. How am I gonna get this off? You'll get it off, don't worry. It's okay. Uh, oh, you dear. squirted it all over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just got it on his arm. <laughs> okay, so now mix it in. Why does my pan keep making that noise? Okay, mix it in. It, 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 ah, I don't like this. So. Jan, Jack has never been a big Play-Doh dude. <laughs> okay, go. I don't like really sticky things. Don't like sticky things. <laughs> okay, mom will finish. Okay, Wipe off my fingers. Okay, either lick them off or go wash them off, whichever you want to do. Wash them. <laughs> Dave Denise says hi from behind. Okay, so Denise. that moment of childish fun is over. <laughs> <laughs> and then mom finishes the rest. 
please tell me I'm not the only one. Okay, so I need a little bit more. So I just keep adding powdered sugar until it's not so sticky. So as many of you know, if you watched my videos very much, I'm not a real big one on cooking with kids. <laughs> oh, Randy was asking if you could color it, but it looks like you just did. Yes, I just did put yellow in here. And I'm just kneading in the rest of the uh, powdered sugar. They're laughing, LOL Jack, it'll be okay, adorable Jack. You're too funny, Jack. <laughs> See, they love you even if you don't like playing with Play-Doh. No, it's, no, it's when it's really sticky and it gets stuck on my hands. Oh, that's what you don't like? Now see, it's not so sticky, you just have to keep mixing it. Tony says, I hope you and Mike like to play with Play-Doh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Just turning this into like frosting or something. Okay, so I think we are there. Oh! Now! Oh, Donna says there's a new Play Doh recipe going around called Slime. Oh, good grief. That <laughs> recipe's been in our book for 20 years. And she said, yeah, it had borax and water. Right what? here, page 384, Dining on a Dime cookbook. We were the first, or close to it. <laughs> well, we weren't the first, but still, there's nothing new under the sun, that's for sure. I thought about doing a video on it, but somehow I don't think Jack would really be into the slime. Brandy, was okay. slime? So, oh. there you go. Why is there still white in it? Well, just because I don't have it all mixed in and my hands are gooky. Make fluffy slime. Okay. Can you make fluffy slime for Dave? So, there you go. Edible Play-Doh. Try a bite. See what you think. Yeah. Yum. You, you're not forcing, you're not forcing that mm. tomorrow. You could, you. It tastes like frosting. Mm -hmm. It is basically They're gonna frosting. They're going to want to eat it. Yeah. I'm going to put a bunch more salt in it so they don't want to eat it. So basically, you could, you could do any flavor you want. Mint, cherry, grape, whatever you want. And then you got your Play-Doh. Isn't that cool? Okay, so that one's there. Now, for the green and blue. <laughs> oh, Dave, why don't you turn the camera <coughs> pointing at us? <coughs> oh, yeah, sorry. I thought Jack was doing stuff with the potato. Dad, BJ has new contacts, but I don't think they're working. Why? Did he, step on Did he bump into something? Look at his shirt. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, what's up with this shirt? Look at it. The back tag is in my closet, inside out. And back. Can I come off the show? Okay. Now, are you done? Do you want to color the the non-sticky one? No. Okay, you can be done. Okay, so then to do the cooked one, just add in your Oops, oh dear. Well, what is wrong with my colors? Sharon said for color, add to food color to the water before mixing. Yes, and you can do that if you want it all one color, but I don't like to make that many batches, so, yeah. JL wants dining on a dime aprons. <laughs> I had thought about making some, but I don't know where I could find them to where we could get them cheap enough to sell them. I don't know. I need to look somewhere. Maybe what I should do is have somebody look up where I could get aprons for cheap to resell with our Dining on Dime, and then I'll give them a free one if they find me the place to resell it. Put it down. It's not you yours. Give him his thing. <laughs> Donna says some kids ate paper, too. I know. <laughs> I eat paper. So no, see, really. you just mix it in, just like so. Here, I'll take this green since I accidentally got on that side. <laughs> Steals, deals, and meals says, my son used to freak out when I would let my kids finger paint. He hated it. Yeah. My kids have never really been into Play-Doh. Not a lot. They hate it. They played with it once in a while, but not really. At all. 
much. Okay, so now we have lovely green. Yep. Yep. And then, oh, did I? Yeah. Lovely green. Oh, that's too low. <laughs> Hold it up a little no, higher. higher. There you go. There you go. Lovely <laughs> green. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is okay. going to be a cyan because it's like, well, maybe. Because you like put a bit of green, didn't you? Yes. Oh, man, you're getting fancy with your color names, Dave. <laughs> no, it's just... <laughs> Cyan. Who uses those terms? Cyan dis. Uh, well, cyan is just because he's the production guy. That's why. Terry says, "I remember when my son and I first made Play-Doh. I was showing him how you put your hands in to mix it up. He let out a blood-curdling scream. You think it was a monster or something?" So here's what you but, do: color it brown and flavor it with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great. That would be a great Halloween homemade Halloween treat, wouldn't it? That would be hilarious. Put cocoa powder in here and color it brown for Halloween. Oh man, that would be great. Or Ew. or a fourteen year old boy's birthday party. And then so, just shape it like a shape it like. Then a, shape it in the shape of you know. Poop. Whichever. Whichever form our poop is coming out this week. Oh, and there's ew. blue. Wow, I'm that's... sorry, I'm going on strike if that topic so keeps blue. going. Blue. <laughs> uh, Yellow and green. There you go. What do you guys think? Uh, oh, that looks cool. <laughs> Just is that pretty neat? Yeah. Oh, Tony says I cut off my eyelashes in second grade, Dave. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Probably. Tony says I cut off my eyelashes in second grade. <laughs> Kids do crazy things. How do you cut off your eyelashes? Oh, my goodness. How do you Without cut poking off your yourself eyelashes? in the eye. Oh, man. Yeah, Jonathan says cyan is printer toner blue. Yeah, cyan is also uh, one of the... It's one of the colors we used in television a lot. Mom. Mom. Yes. Rainy says, how do you store? How long does it stay fresh? Can you add water if it starts to dry? Well, man, that's some good questions. Okay. So to store this, put it in a plastic bag and I keep it in the refrigerator. You don't have to, but it will go moldy after a little while if you don't. Um, actually, you could probably add some vitamin E as a preservative. I don't know. I never thought about it. Has anybody added vitamin E? I don't know. Right. So you could maybe add some vitamin E oil as a preservative. Um, how long will it keep in the refrigerator? A month, six weeks. Can you rehydrate it if it gets a little dried out? I have honestly not tried it. I don't know. I can't imagine why that wouldn't work, but I can't say that I've ever done it myself. So I don't know for sure. Uh, uh, somebody asked... Uh, I think you probably, you might have already said this, but Allison was saying you can store it in a Ziploc bag in the fridge. So is that yeah, storing it a month with the, with the Ziploc bag? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sherry says, my granddaughters are really into the slime right now. Uh, all kinds of it. They say Play-Doh is out and slime is in. I guess I need to get my slime video made. We yeah. never made one? Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah, it's goopy and gloppy and amusing. Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought that was one of our first videos. Go look no, it wasn't. It, wasn't it? Uh, I was thinking it was, but no, it wasn't. Oh. So. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Where were we? Um. Brand, Brandy's asking, "What scent of candle are you burning?" That one is pumpkin something or another. I can't remember. Um. Can you smell um, it? I can smell you. <laughs> Pecan pumpkin cake. It smells really good. Um, Jamie says to tell you that she has a place in our vat to buy aprons and print them. Oh, really? To print what you want on them. Well, then I'll give you a free one, Jamie. You have to wear it everywhere you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to wear it to all your homeschool days. <gasps> Sharon says, hello from Sharon in Michigan. Glad you're back in the saddle again. Thank and you. Delora is asking if a recipe calls for one cup of butter, 
Do you use salted or unsalted? The recipe has three cups of plain flour, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon baking powder, and a half teaspoon. If it has soda. salt, then I would use unsalted butter. Most recipes, it's unsalted butter. So if it has salt, I would use unsalted. If it doesn't have salt, then I would use regular butter. But really, I use them interchangeably. I, there's not that much salt in butter that it really changes the recipe much. And Jessica asks how, I have about four boxes of cereal in my pantry that my toddlers refuse to eat. Ollie, they don't like eating milk and cereal. Any recipe ideas to yes. spice them? Yes, right here, a wonderful one in this great cookbook, Dining on a Dime. I can tell you wrote the recipe to use and the kids will eat it and it'll be gone. It is on page 290. Dun, dun, Trying to dun. peek. Mike wants to get the recipe. <gasps> oh, yeah. Page 290, granola bars. So if it's like Raisin Bran or Corn Chex or Wheat Chex or Life, or something like that that's not a sugary, not a huge sugary cereal, then you could use it for that. Um, the other thing you could do is you could crush it up and put it for ice cream topping. Yes. So you could use it for- Although the kids wanna eat that though. Why not? Ooh, it's, it's People like pay big things. bucks for that stuff. I know, I was just thinking about little kids, you know. Well, that's true. <laughs> But it would really be good. Hello, my brother. It would really be good ice cream topping. Hey, Uncle. Um, so yeah. Oh, Jamie says I'll take your shelf as payment. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, oh. You guys should see my shelf I got. Where's my phone? Dave, can go go get my phone out of my purse, will you, real quick, so I can show him my sh my shelf. Rebecca was asking, what age is Play-Doh good for kids to play with? My son is about to turn two. That sounds good. <laughs> Let him go for it. Especially when it's edible like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Angela wants you to make slime. <laughs> yeah, I'll make slime. I'll do. A s Where is my phone? It's not in your purse. Go call it from my phone, Dave. Denise says, watching you guys and rocking out to Waylon Jennings. We go with well, Waylon. Oh, I haven't heard of him forever. <laughs> we go well is with he Waylon. still around? I think so. Where is my phone? You guys got to see my free shelves that I got for my soap. Never mind it Here it is. Okay, thank you. On the floor under thank your you, purse. Dave <clears throat> Meister. Okay, look at this. I didn't get it ready for the show. So sorry, on the Play-Doh, Natalie says the non-edible looks so soft. Is it very, very soft? Yes, it's very, very soft. Kathy go over her eyelashes too. Oh my goodness, what is with you guys? That's I crazy. Burn them off. So Jamie, fireworks behind Safeway in Frederick. But I don't know if we're gonna go this year. Maybe we'll go with you guys. Hello? Okay, okay so can you guys see what I got? No. Okay. You have to hold it. Here. Dave, can you can they see that? Uh yeah. Yeah, they can see that. Look at those shelves. <laughs> I got these for free from my neighbor. She said, "Tara, I got these great shelves that my husband's work was getting rid of." And I said, well, I'll come over and look at them. They're on rollers. They are the perfect size for my soap curing rack. I've been wanting a soap curing rack. So she was, she lives behind us. So I rolled it down the road three blocks. No, wait a minute. One, yeah, three blocks. So I was rolling it down three blocks around the whole neighborhood. People, I should have filmed it. <laughs> I really think I should go reenact it and film it. They're probably it. saying, oh, there goes Tara again. So here's the problem. I got them home. And nobody thinks we can get them downstairs. Three hundred and fifty dollars oh. worth of shelves, brand Jeez. new metal rollers, everything perfect for my soap. Uh, did we make a video on the granola bars? Didn't we? Yes, I did. A, I yeah, I did a video <laughs> on the granola bars. I was asking for. They didn't ask for the video. They were asking for the recipe. But um, but should I share the video as well? well if you want, yes, Dave. James Hilton says, fun missing, check the Play-Doh. Ah, <laughs> that's a good one. 
Okay, granola <laughs> bars. I'm getting the recipe right now. Uh, oh, are you waiting for more stuff? I am. Um, Jamie said I can't look at the comments. When when kids nanny Lori says I do the packet sauce thing too. I thought it was just me. So one time at our old house, here's a funny story. We had moved in and I don't know. We'd only lived there a few months, and we met the neighbors, and she's like, "I know you guys. You're really familiar." And we said, "Well, I don't know." And we said, "Well, we do have this website." She's like, oh, "That's where I know you." So she knew us from our website. Well, so then a little while later, she came over to visit and she was like, you really do that stuff? I was sitting with the big ketchup bottle and I cut up all the coat. We had like a ton of ketchup packets. I don't know how we got overloaded. Well, I do know my grandma saves them when she goes out to eat and gives them all to me. So she'll come and bring me a bag of ketchup packets like this big or Taco Bell sauce or whatever. And so... I was sitting there cutting them all open and, and squeezing them all into the ketchup bottle. And she was just, just totally, well, not enamored, but what's the word? Who was it? Oh, crazy people down the street. <laughs> the two kids and they kept getting divorced. Oh. Back together, remember? I don't remember. Oh, 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 there. And. I don't know which house you met. And, uh. She said, oh, yeah, she said, I didn't think you actually did that kind of stuff. And I did. I was actually sitting at my kitchen table doing it, squeezing <laughs> out the packets. See, in here, so here's one that I have. So we've got some ranches. Oh, we've got right. Rebecca some asked for the recipe. Mustard, barbecue sauce. Wow, we ate a lot of Taco Bell and McDonald's chicken McNuggets while we were gone. <laughs> Oh, this was the Sonic. So Sonic, do not go to the Sonic in Sterling, Colorado. That was the worst service we have ever had. But, so we got this, I got this chili, Hatch chili hamburger. And I thought it was going to be like a light, mild, medium chili flavor. I kid you not, it burned the hide off my lips and my tongue. I thought my lips were going to start blistering. It was so bad. So I asked Mike, I said, can you order me something else? So then they put, of course I wanted it with no bun, so they put it in this little container. They put so much lettuce in there, which was great, I love lettuce, but the way they had the container when you took the top off, all the lettuce fell out. The only good thing about going there was, so from here down is completely full and they just dumped. A, I don't know, there's probably 40 ketchup and mustard packets for one little, Patty it. <laughs> Sonic. Okay, so there's a debate on the Facebook side, and I finally took it what? out. Waylon Jennings did die in 20, oh, 2002, 15 years ago. Oh, I, I didn't did think know he was that. around anymore. Robin says, take the shelves apart and reassemble. And Kathleen says, tools might make them fit. <laughs> well, here's the thing. My friend did try to take them apart, and she couldn't get them apart. And they should come apart, but I think they've just been together so long, they're kind of like, I don't know, something. They just say, we'll just stay together. We'll just stay together. But here's the thing. They're not going to fit in my soap room anyway. So I'm going to have to find another place downstairs. But I got to thinking, I think we should make the office a soap room. There's taps right there behind the bathroom to put a sink and a dishwasher. And then we gotta move the office into the basement. <laughs> and then we can move the office into Emily's room when she leaves. What about Dave? And leave all the rest of the kids downstairs that's still here. Hmm. What do you think about that? Oh, people are loving the idea of chocolate. Um, See, yeah, isn't I don't know. that poop emoji play doh? <coughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know about, that's the best room in the house. I hate to make a soap room that is the one that has the best view. No, a studio. <laughs> Would it be a problem <clears throat> with the windows behind me? I thought you were wanting a kitchen in the studio. I do, but there's water right there. So we're going to reconstruct the whole house and then move? Well. <laughs> um, actually, speaking of moving, here. speaking of moving, Janine says, <coughs> guess you'll have to move so that the shelves fit. Say thank you. Now that's the way to think. That's Vernon says model. a cutting torch in those shells will fit down the stairs just fine. 
Then BJ can bring the welder over and put it back together again. The thing is, is they're six feet long and five <clears> feet <throat> tall. And like, I don't know however wide that is, probably a foot wide. <laughs> and so to get them down the stairs, we can't turn anyway. Get them down there. I'm very sad in my heart. Three hundred fifty dollar perfect, perfect soap shelves. I mean, they're even spaced apart. The perfect amount so I can put my soaps on there and still reach, but not have excess space. So Kirsten asks, "Aren't you guys looking for another house?" Um, well, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> no, we we've stopped looking. I'm still looking just all over the country, just because it's my pastime. <clears throat> but um. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> We, what did my brother say about me? He's been saying all kinds of stuff about you. They are held together by gravity. Sometimes it just takes a bigger mallet and tear the shelf apart. Lots of Superman toys taught me that. Well, get over here, brother dear, and use your Superman powers. <laughs> I'm telling you, we need to do a video on my super brother's Superman collection. Robin says use three and one oil to lose them. Well, that's a good idea. Maybe we could do that. Yeah. I'm sure we could get them apart. So... Just... We stopped looking in Colorado. I had a realtor call me today. So we stopped looking in Colorado. And we were trying to decide if we should go to Pennsylvania or maybe Tennessee or maybe Wisconsin. But Wisconsin has ridiculously high taxes. And Tennessee, if I don't know. just that one place. The whole state. Oh, okay. I looked at four or five places. And Tennessee, I don't know, the mountains might be okay, but it seems a little hot and humid. Pennsylvania might be okay, but there's only like this little tiny section that we could move to in Pennsylvania that's, um, that would probably work for us. Um, I don't know. Allison says we should donate the Play-Doh to the nearest preschool. They'll love it. Yeah. That's a good idea. They're not in session right now, though, I don't think. A number of people were asking about BJ. How's he feeling and how's his, 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 um, how's his plan going? Well, it's not. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead. They, he's doing his sleep routine. Some days he's not falling asleep till 5 o'clock in the morning, but he's still getting up at 8 o'clock. Um... His headaches have gone away on that other blood pressure medicine, so at least his headaches have given him some release, some relief. He actually played cards with Ellie and I last night for the first time in ever, like, years. Um, he's not sleeping very well, but he's still trying, so. No, David. No. Kansas is not a good place to move to. I have lived there twice. I have lived there 30 years. I refuse to move back to Kansas. Over my dead, cold body. <laughs> I know we can make it happen, but still. <laughs> yeah. I love Kansas. If you guys are from Kansas, don't unsubscribe. I love Kansas. The people are really, really nice. Super easy to get around. They're friendly. They're helpful. But the weather stinks. And I want to be able to go outside in the summer. <laughs> so we're uh, staying here for the moment was the whole moral of that story. Well, essentially, yeah. Colorado is just, at the moment, we would be spending a huge amount more that we'd have to borrow in order to move to a better house. Or we could just move to a similar house and lose the money for moving and end up with a similar situation. Well, there. here's the thing. We got to thinking... So we're probably at the very highest of the bubble right now. Our house has almost doubled in price in two years. Almost. Not quite, but almost. And um, we're at the top of that bubble. If we don't sell now, we're not going to get the maximum probably out of our house. But it's like I was telling Mike yesterday. So let's say the bubble bursts and the prices start going back down again. All the prices are going to be going back down again. So it's not going to cost us more either way because... If we stay in Colorado. If we stay in Colorado because let's say our house goes down $50,000 and it's not worth... Let's say it's worth $50,000 less. Well, that same house that we were looking at that was $600,000, they're going to go down to $500,000. So 
So it's not going to cost us any more because it'll be the same amount. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Tony said I didn't get to hear you sing happy birthday to me. I was out of town babysitting grandkids. <laughs> so. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Tony. Happy birthday to you. <coughs> Mike should have drank a glass of water first. That's okay. Now I get to smell Jamie's yummy soap. Bonnie wants to know if Emily can make a beginning yoga video. <laughs> Pretty please. <laughs> Why, if we ask her, she might. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and Janine says... Or Jeannie, sorry, says the Play-Doh looks like alien brains. <laughs> alien brains? It kind of does, especially this one. Oh, that's another thing that I do with um, leftover cereal, is I make Rice Krispie treats, except I use the cereal. Yeah. Yeah, that's another thing I do, and they go really quick. So Jonathan says we should move to Florida. Yeah, I don't think so. Have oh. you seen the alligators there? <laughs> yeah, he lives there. So. I think you need new glasses. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot of people are still saying Pennsylvania. I almost said Tessie, of course. Hmm, I wonder why she would say Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And Kathy says Pennsylvania. I looked at your town the other day, Homestead Tessie. <laughs> I did. And oops, I lost my place here. Uh, the thing is, we could sell our house here and move <clears> to <throat> Pennsylvania. And we could be debt free or have a very small mortgage for a house that has, we have a quarter acre and we could get one to ten acres one place had 30 acres for the same house and when she or says, better and when she says debt free if you're not already aware of this we don't have any debt except what's left on our mortgage mm -hmm. but when she says debt free she means with no mortgage no anymore. mortgage <clears throat> and some of those places even had a pool i was like are you kidding me almost yeah. all of those places and james said i second pa they uh, pennsylvania they have room for odd shaped shelves <laughs> i don't know so Here's the question on Pennsylvania. Do I go visit in August to see how bad the hot heat and humidity, humidity is, or do I go visit in January and see how bad the snow is? Both. Oh, I like that idea. <clears throat> and Bandana Grandma says, and you can visit me in Maryland. <laughs> I know. That's what I was thinking. Copperhouse Farm says, come to Chesterfield, Virginia. You should check it I out. I don't think Virginia's. I, I think the humidity in Virginia is way too much for me. Except if you were in the, in the mountains, right? Maybe. I don't know. Wait, there are mountains. And in, see, in Pennsylvania, we, we have this little tiny place between... We don't want to be by the lake where it's really, really humid. So about, I don't know, this far down the map from Erie, but we don't want to be in Pittsburgh over to not... We don't want to live in Harrisburg. So we have that tiny little triangle right there <laughs> that we can live in. <laughs> Jamie says, I told you, you're not allowed to move away. <laughs> I know. I, I finally have a good friend. We have a couple of good friends at church, and Jamie's a really good friend right next to me. Just think of all the soaping supplies I, I dump on you, Jamie. <laughs> Claire says, come to the UK. And we also have... Well, Mike had thought about it. MGGMG4 says, come to Michigan. And Little Sky was suggesting Eastern Ohio. Yeah, I don't think Eastern Ohio would probably work. Well, it's more of a family issue. <laughs> we uh, have family there we probably wouldn't want to be too close to. <laughs> and Homestead Tessie says, come join me in the, with the Amish here in Pennsylvania. <laughs> See, I always wanted to be Amish. I always wanted to live without water. No, and, we are and... not doing that, Mom. Mary says, came in late. Are you eating the Play-Doh? I am. It's really good. <laughs> she flavored it in a well. It's edible, but she flavored it in a way that... It tastes like frosting. It tastes like chili. frosting, so yeah. she's going to snark the whole thing. <laughs> Donna sounds, says that sounds like a pretty positive report for BJ. I think it is, Donna. Um, he's he's not all better today, but they said it would take up to six months, and we're already seeing some improvement, even though he's not feeling great. Yeah. So it's good. It's good that he's doing quite a bit better. And Amy says, I'd watch the yoga video if Emily makes it, so we'll have to ask her. Oh, man. I didn't Maybe think we should that. have Emily teach the family yoga. So... <laughs> Yeah, she wants to. That could be interesting video. Because if you didn't already went to community college mm -hmm. and got a certificate to teach yoga. So So we almost turned on the camera last night for you guys to watch BJ and Ellie and I playing cards. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Homestead says Perry County. Look it up. Homestead Perry Tessie. County. Hmm. 
Uh, Danny says, check the casserole in the oven. Oh, I forgot! <laughs> Oh, I hope, I hope it's burned so we don't have to eat that food. Peggy, Peggy says you should get paid for my so. cash for my place to come to Idaho Falls. <laughs> oh, man, Idaho Falls, no kidding. <laughs> okay, so, what actually time is it? It's 1130. Oh, okay. So, actually, it's still doing really good. <laughs> man. But I'll show it to you. I'm going to keep it in the oven and keep it warm. It smells good. But I don't want the casserole. I don't want to eat that. You mean oh. our own thing, but you guys eat that? Just so you guys know, my kids are like the pickiest eaters in the world. Uh, let's see. We only eat things that are good. Oh, thanks. Dad, is my enchilada casserole good? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Vicky yeah. says Idaho, Washington. Hey, of course, there are, there's a cold winters and the hot summers. Oh, I live in Spokane and love it. We actually like the area by Spokane. We used to live in Nez Perce, Idaho, down by Lewiston. And we actually love Idaho a lot. And we had looked in Spokane and the houses were great in Spokane, but the taxes on the Spokane side versus the Coeur d'Alene side were double. And our goal is to get our house paid off and not have to still pay $800 a month in taxes and insurance. So so if we did, we'd probably be on the Coeur d'Alene side. Yeah, but we'd probably go to the Coeur d'Alene side or Post Falls or something like that. I don't know. Neither one of us really want to go back. I kind of like Coeur d'Alene. I don't know. We're just not sure. Um, when we were out there, we felt kind of cut off from the rest of the family, although <laughs> I guess that's not much of an issue. Doesn't matter now. No. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, Mom will just follow us, so it won't be a big deal. Uh, Susan was asking about how BJ is too. He's uh, he's slowly improving. Um, so yeah, he's he's on a medication that's taking the headaches away, and he's having a little more trouble sleeping. But he is. Did Jonathan improving. put alligators on there? Is that what that is? Yes. <laughs> oh, you turkey! Have you seen those alligators? There's no way. <laughs> Judy no said she meant. Jeannie said she meant alien brains as a compliment that kids would love playing with them. Yes, they would. Uh, <laughs> you could sell your house and buy Tiger Woods' old place, oh brother. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get that much for selling our house here. Yeah. I assume his place was... Yeah, Sharon says just stay debt-free, whatever you decide. The stress level is better than any medicine you can buy. Well, the thing is, is if we found a house for 250 we could do it debt-free. If we found a house for 300 to 400, we could have a mortgage and get it paid off fairly quick. But Natalie said Canada is gorgeous. Just saying. Where in Canada are you, Natalie? I know. We need to get a three million dollar house. Actually, our friends at church they're from Canada. Mom. Hmm. Can we get a three million dollar house. Let's and do it. All our viewers can help who's us. Who's gonna pay for a three million dollar house, Dave? All our viewers could like pitch in like a hundred bucks each. And, hey. Donna, enchilada casserole right. is what's for dinner. Oh, Denise says mm -hmm. I love the way you and Jamie met. Now you two are great friends. I know Jamie and I met because she found me from my soap videos before I started doing my own soap channel. And she found me from that and came on here and we were just chatting and one day she said you could bring that apple pie over to my house because she had just moved from the south closer to the south part of Denver up by us. So we decided to surprise her one day and we've been great friends ever since. Yep. Oh, Brandy says come back to Estes Park. Do you live in Estes Park, yeah, Brandy? Yeah, she does. I didn't know that. We should visit you sometime. We should. We go up there almost every weekend in the summer. We love being there. But cost-wise, we would have to have even a smaller house than we have down here. If you see a car driving around with the license plate Kellum, it's not us. Yeah, and if you ask them about us, you won't Don't ask them nice. about us. It's Mike's parents. <clears throat> yeah. Just move along. But if you see that license plate, it's not us. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Just move along. Patty says Texas and northern Utah are low. I live about 25 miles from the Idaho border. We used mm. to drive through... Oh, but that's like desert, isn't it? We used it? to drive by um, Ogden when we go to Idaho when we used to live up there. It's kind of deserty. y the Ew, north... this is sticky. Well, there are mountains it's if not... you're close to Ogden, this one but... Is. <laughs> it's the same... No, it's not. Look, it's sticky. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it's So, sticky. Angela, the Play-Doh is actually edible Play-Doh. <laughs> this like, is oh. edible Play-Doh. Actually, it's all this is, edible, this but... is all edible. Ashley's... Just, this, these taste worse than yes. this. 
Ashley's Ashley, right. She says two two hundred fifty k house in Pennsylvania is huge. Four hundred is a mansion. Yeah, I yeah. hear ours. Ours has increased to almost four hundred. And we paid two hundred so for it. It's I'm almost four hundred, three seventy. But it's like a little house. <laughs> it's not really. Yeah. Made a slide. But I had a realtor terrarium. call today asking if I wanted to sell my house. He has some people who are wanting to buy a house. The people behind us. They asked 360, they got 377. Our same house, our same exact house. Everything's the same except we have a bigger yard and we're on a cul-de-sac. They got 377, which was what? 15, 16, 17 over what they were asking and they sold it in a day and a half. You could buy a million TVs with that so, money. They had like six offers or something. <laughs> Susie asked, do you do live videos every day and if so, what time? Not every day. We do the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time. So yep. that would be 5.30 oh. Eastern. Look at him! You made a little face. No, he copied my idea. How cute. Jack, stop copying me. Hmm. Poke you. Mom, I will poke you. Uh, oh, I'm not sure how you say your, how to say Ow. your name. Ow! Say it's just called enchiladas. It's, it's the casserole part, part that kids don't like. I know. That's true. <laughs> What's well, funny how kids, you, one little thing, even just how you call something, will cause them not to eat it. Uh, Chris says, I made it in time. I've been watching your videos the last few days. I'm 27 years old and have been married almost two years, and my husband and I want to move out of my parents, and I love the tips, Danielle. Yes, living in your parents' house when you're married is not a good thing. No. But, definitely, that's a good get way to save money. Get that money saved Whoa. up and get out. Well, like this. Yep. Can you make it into a bowl? You can <laughs> do it. <laughs> oh, man, you missed you it. You can do it. Make Whoa. your dreams come true. Mom, you missed it. So Peggy says, Idaho has no alligators. House is 3,000 square feet on the river without an I anchor. know. Which, wow. Were you the one that sent me the house? She actually had a really cool house. I think so. Like several mm -hmm. months ago, right? Yeah, I think you sent it to me like three or four months ago. Hey, it's look what I made. Yeah. Look wow. what I made. What is that? <laughs> What do you call that? Some the sort, jackpot? Some sort of weird... I don't know. Amy says, Amy T says, 400,000 is a little house on a tiny plot here in Australia. Don't move yeah. with me or you'll be shocked. And we're just shocked when we see, we see shows where they're talking about buying a 900 and some thousand dollar house in Canada. And the thing is, I, I realize that Canadian money and American money isn't quite the same, but, but, still. but I can't imagine that Canadians get paid double what Americans get what paid. What are these so people how, doing for jobs? So how can you afford a $900,000 house? What are they doing for jobs? That's what I want to know. Yeah. Even with them both working, what are they doing for jobs? Of course, these are the ones we see on the shows, the fixer, whatever, house hunters and stuff. Uh, I think Ellie and I need to take a road trip in two weeks to Pennsylvania. When's the worst heat? So what's the worst heat in Pennsylvania like and what's the worst cold? Look. Ooh, nice. It's my hand. Good job. Uh, Janine says, I see you 6.30 Eastern. Uh, yeah. No, no. 6.30 oh, yeah, yeah. Eastern, 4.30 Mountain. I totally messed that up, people. I just confused everybody. It's 4.30 Mountain, 6.30 Eastern. Oops, I forgot there was another time zone in the middle. Uh, so anyway. Uh, I was trying to see what we've missed. The only problem about the coal country, who was that, Angela? I didn't see who that was. The only thing about coal country is, man, how would you know if your house wouldn't cave in one day? What? What's coal country? Well, Where they mine coal under the ground. But like we're in here coal in, country here. But here in Colorado, just actually the, the town that Jamie lives in, they used to mine coal there. And for 30 years, there was a fire underground in the mine that didn't go out and was burning underground for 30 years. Hmm. It was crazy. Um, how did people not know about it? Wow, Danielle, yeah, that's got to be rough. Uh, Jessica says, I knew, have you ever homeschooled? <laughs> we did for about a year. Yeah. Um, we were trying to... Homeschooling is not for us. <laughs> well, our oldest son was having school problems. <sighs> and we thought that maybe we could... We tried a couple things to try to help him, and that was one of them. And he just didn't like school in any kind of way. But, of course, then Ellie skipped a grade. <laughs> Because she she graduated she did, two years early because we homeschooled her one semester. <laughs> she did, she did two years of school in one year. Yeah, yeah. 
So Let's see. Okay, wait, right there. That's the information I want. End of July is the worst heat and mid end of February is the worst cold. But what exactly does that mean? I mean, if your worst heat is 80 degrees. Well, it's funny because I had heard. Uh, highest heat in Pennsylvania in late, Ju late July or early. It's typically 90s. Is it high 90s or low 90s? Because it's funny because I heard a thing saying that uh, <sighs> in London and in some parts of the UK they were having heat advisories to stay in because it's, <laughs> it's 89. The, the news said because it would get into the mid 80s or yeah, high 80s. Yeah, And I didn't realize it was that cool there, but here they don't put out a heat advisory until it gets over 110. 110, yeah. Uh, so, so. But we don't like the heat, and Colorado's usually not that hot, so. It's been in the low 90s and then single digits sometimes in the winter here in Pennsylvania. Well, that, or Pittsburgh, that wouldn't be bad. And Lisa's asking how long have we lived in Colorado. We've, this well, time, six years. Yeah. But we've sort of been. We've lived here before, and then we left, and then we came back. Yeah. And yeah. it's not the same. We left a long time ago when we came back. Uh, it was a lot less laid back and a lot more yeah. hectic and crazy and yeah. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ruth says the humidity isn't very high in central Pennsylvania. Jail, same Vermont. You always wanted to go I always to wanted to live in Vermont. I loved New Heart and always wanted to live in Vermont. We're watching New Heart again. We watch it every year. We watch the whole thing over every year. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, let's see. Oh, Dana says we're in fast motion. Uh, and if you can, you probably can't hear us then, but sometimes when uh, your system is slow, Facebook will try to catch it up by doing a fast motion thing. Um, Sharon says we have sinkholes. Is that in Pennsylvania? Or oh, that's in Florida. Yeah. Yeah, sinkholes are not something I want to be dealing with. What are sinkholes? Tony likes your hair, Jack. What are sinkholes? It's where the ground just opens up and there's a great big hole in the ground. Usually because water underneath takes the dirt yeah. away little by little and then finally someday it just collapses and falls in. The whole in. thing collapses. I don't know what they're saying, but J.L. Marata says Vermont. I'm thinking oh. Vermont, see? Well, let's move to Seattle. Rain all the time. Woo! Oh, I'd love to live in Seattle. Rain, I love rain. Mist. Yeah. Hmm. I would not be depressed at all. So I'm thinking mid to south, mid-south, like between Pittsburgh and Harrisburg, but not as far up as Erie. Jonathan says, Newhart! Yeah. I know, it's my favorite. Look. Best series in any TV, TV show guy. ever. Oh, that was, I him. hated that. I was so mad. Oh, oh, oh how cute. Look at him. <laughs> I, I refused to watch it. It made me so mad. How can you fake a TV show for eight years and just pretend like it's a dream? Seriously, people, who wrote that? <laughs> yes. Allison says pray about it on the house thing. Yes, we have been, and right now we think we're not doing anything, but we're still praying for guidance. How on many different states have we lived in? So I've moved 17 times. Mike and I have moved 10 times. We've lived in Kansas, Idaho, Colorado, Texas, and that's it. Yep. Texas, Kansas, Idaho, and Colorado. Yep. Uh, okay, well, Lisa oh, says Meadville is a nice area between Pittsburgh and Erie. In a lot of the northern states, it gets hot sometimes, but it's temporary. In the south, it gets hot and stays hot and humid. Yes, that's why I don't want to move to the south. We've lived in Kentucky, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, and now North Carolina. All of those PA would rank first, North Carolina last. Oh, interesting. Because of the heat? Because huh. we remember in Kansas and in Texas having to run the air conditioner 24 hours a day for a month or two yeah. where it was like 98 degrees in the middle of the night. Oh, I looked at Meadville last night, Lisa. I was just looking there last night, but there wasn't hardly any houses for sale. Oh, Stephanie says Rhode um, Island here, ocean breezes. I, I, I always thought I would love Rhode Island. Yeah, I don't think I'll do the ocean. Too much sand. Gets between my toes. You and Jack. I don't like it. <laughs> So anyway, Wait, all right, well, I... it appears that... Do you like, did you like Texas? No. So I grew up in Sorry. Austin and I liked it, uh, but it was really, really hot. But when Tara was there, she was dead on the couch for the whole six months we lived there because it just made her CFS and fibro no. flare really bad the whole time. How long did you live in Kansas? I lived there 19 years. 
No, I lived there 17 years. I don't count the year and a half when I was a baby and in Colorado. I can't count that. Um, the first time. I lived there 17 years the first time. I was born in Colorado, moved to Kansas. Then came back to Colorado, got married. Mike and I went to Texas and Idaho, and then we came back to Kansas because my brother had a root canal and he was paralyzed from the bacteria getting into his bloodstream. So we, so just right before that happened, he had tore down every wall in his house. So we went back to Kansas to try and help him temporarily for <laughs> two years. And we ended up there 11 years. You got other plans. I'm done with Kansas. <laughs> nice people, but the heat and humidity, I can't stand it. But there are, we've always said there's a reason why there are so many people in Colorado from, from Kansas. Kansas. Because the people are really nice, but the weather is not. I think Indiana is too much like Kansas. Um, I forgot who it was. Somebody said, Oh, Gail said, I think New England would be better for Tara. I did. Here's how I was doing my search. I was searching where there's Aldi's. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, somebody here I've said Scranton has one. <laughs> I was doing my search by where there's an Aldi's <clears throat> store. <laughs> I really was. <laughs> Rainy says, I lived, in, I lived in Texas. I was born there. It was nice, but too hot. Yes, I, I grew up in Austin. I really like Austin and San Antonio area, but I just, I don't think I could handle the heat anymore after having lived in a cooler place. So, <laughs> uh, uh, thank you, Bumblebee. I was in Gettysburg for the 4th of July and they were complaining about the heat. Yeah, but was it really that bad? Gettysburg? Oh, Gettysburg. Yeah, and I had Gettysburg. books down there, yeah. I just realized Gettysburg is done. I know it was in Pennsylvania, it just didn't connect I had looked all around there, and there was actually some really, really nice houses all around there for cheap. Yeah. Yeah, Altoona, I looked there. I even looked at Patoxy Phil. Poxitani? Or Poxitani, however you say it. But see, then we'd be living the same day every day. <laughs> but, I don't know. <laughs> Angela says there are only 52 states to choose from, guys. <laughs> yes. Is it 52 now? Well, not really. We could go it's to New Zealand day. or Costa Rica. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, one thing we thought is if... Because some things, like with the kids, it seems likely that one of them eventually will move away. And we hate to move... I hate to move and have one of them or more stay... But I got to thinking, if we had no mortgage, we could we afford to actually travel to visit them. them. We could fly on an aeroplane and come see them. So, especially since if they still live in Colorado, Denver is one of the cheap places to fly if you are flying from another cheap place. So, anyway, I what is a Lady's? I've never heard of it. Hmm. Comparable to all these. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. The tiny House Prepper lives in Pennsylvania. Oh, I wonder where we're at. Look what Holmes and Tessie said. Hubby cleans all the windows. <gasps> no way! <laughs> wow, maybe I need to go look at Tessie's city again. And Australia has Aldi too. Ooh. Wow. Candy says tiny house. Candy uh, says tiny house prepper lives in Pennsylvania. You yeah. Can ask questions. Looks like a beautiful area. Yeah. In the videos. Honestly, I didn't think about having to be careful not to buy a house. <laughs> but. That might collapse due to a coal mine. I didn't either. Well, one of the other issues that we were thinking is we really would like to live a little more in the country, but obviously we can't do shows if we don't have good internet. So yeah, that's, a, that's an issue where the further away we get from a city, at least and here, it's harder to find that. Things you never know, like in Jamie's in Jamie's neighborhood, she just moved there in October, and a house exploded behind her like a month ago. Well, come to find out, they didn't cap off the well, the oil wells properly. And there's all these pipelines going all over the place that aren't capped correctly that they think. They're not sure. They're having to go and inspect them all. Well, there's a couple of houses by her, and there's a pipeline running straight underneath them that nobody knew about. Or at least they didn't, they didn't disclose it. Sharon says, how about Tahiti? <gasps> I don't know if I'd want to live there, but I've always wanted to go there. Yeah, but they have sand. <sighs> you and Mom, your sand. Stop what, am I going to have to go with somebody so else? <laughs> Tara, I bet you'd like Rhode Island, says Stephanie. I think you would, too. What was that show we used to watch? 
Judge, judging Amy? Amy? Was that in Rhode Island? <laughs> judging Amy? Before it got to be... What was it? I don't know. Before they started doing crazy stuff at Sweeps Week. Huh. Huh. All right. All right. Well, Dave's telling me time's up. Rosalind, where is CenturyLink? We have it in Colorado, although here at this house, they could never get it to work, and they finally told us it was our house, which I think is just a, a way of saying we don't really want to help you guys anymore. I thought you were asking what is CenturyLink, and I was like... Stay away yeah, from coastlines. Tsuna yeah. Tsunamis, hurricanes, get above 800 feet, say less. Yes, I think... I don't want tsunamis, I don't want hurricanes, I don't want earthquakes, I don't want tornadoes. That's why I picked Pennsylvania. They don't have any of that stuff there. Does Minnesota have any of that? They don't have it close to the mountains well, here either. Well, they have blizzards. Minnesota has blizzards? Well, yeah, but that's not that bad. I don't know. Yeah, we're just going to have to... Maine. Now, I thought about Maine, actually. <laughs> See, notice Tar says, I thought about it. <laughs> I think about these things all the time. Actually, I, I'm really not feeling particularly attached to anywhere, so I'm somewhat open to suggestions. We have never lived anywhere where we actually felt like we had a home. We just have never felt at home in any of the places we've lived at. We've just lived. Pennsylvania has tornadoes. Well, that's okay. I can deal with tornadoes. They don't bother me that much. <laughs> well, probably since we lived in Kansas, I think... Most other places, I don't know if they're tornadoes or, I think they're probably not as bad in Pennsylvania, but nevertheless. Yeah. Oh yeah, Providence. Oh, that's Providence. Yeah, that's what it was. All right, well. All right, guys. Well, have a good night. Please visit us at livingondime.com. Please like, share, comment, give us thumbs up. Watch our videos as long as you can because I know our videos get long, but it's just because we're chatting with you guys. So <laughs> you just learn all about us in these chats. Those people who only watch the first nine minutes of the show, they don't know what they're missing. I know. See, you guys get the good stuff. But they also don't realize that if they just want to watch 15 minutes, they actually can. <gasps> you can turn off a YouTube video and not watch the whole thing? What? There's <gasps> this thing called the pause button. I didn't <laughs> know you could do that. <laughs> or the person who's talking just instantly. <laughs> well, thanks for the love and the loves and likes, everybody. We sure appreciate it. And yes, you have a great evening, too, Marsha and everyone else. Oops. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you on Wednesday with the Homestead Network. All right. Thanks, everyone. Facebook is Bye, done. James. Bye, YouTube. Bye.